Good morning, you guys. I thought today I would show you my 10 minute everyday makeup routine. So I always start off by applying a face oil. I first used this a few years ago and honestly, I just can't find anything that compares to it. I find by moisturizing my face first, my makeup sets better and lasts longer. Next, always go in with an SPF. This is the brand Illumier. I get it from Organic Glow where my friend Maddie works. You would have seen my first Hydra facial in a couple vlogs ago. No matter the weather forecast, always wear your SPF. Now we're gonna go in with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I'm almost out of this, but honestly, it's lasted me a couple years. I'm not sure if I even believe in primer. So for my everyday look, I like to mix the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue and the IT Cosmetics CC Cream. And this also has SPF in it, which, double protection. Let's mix that around. Lately, I've been torn between using a Beauty Blender and the Hourglass Foundation Brush. I'm not sure which one I like better. And then make sure to drag down your neck because you don't want your face and neck to be different colors. I think that's as good as it's gonna get today. I also hate the feeling of having foundation on my lips, so I'm gonna go wipe this off. Now let's put lip chat back on because <laughs> Laneige sleeping mask, of course. Now I'm going in with the Kosas concealer. I honestly am the biggest fan of this. Under eye, the beauty blender is so great for under eye because the skin here is pretty much the most delicate skin on your body. This is the hourglass brush that I was talking about. We love her, but I don't know, I can't decide. Now I'm going to set my under eyes. I don't know if people do this, but I find that it works. And then I kind of let that sit while I go in and apply it all over my face. Nice and light. I also like to graze over my eyelid and then go under. And then we have this. The coverage is pretty good. I do have pretty pigmented cheeks and it doesn't fully make it all the same skin tone, but it is enough. And when I'm going for that everyday quick look, I don't need that like complete airbrushed look. So I don't mind a little pigmentation coming through. Now I'm going in with the Too Faced Bronzer. Good old Faithful. Still smells so good. A bronzing tip that I learned was to go above your cheekbone, not at your cheekbone for a more lifted look. And then I like to go across the tip of my nose so some catches on to like this part of the nose. I don't know what this is called. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with a blush. I like to mix the Rare Beauty Joy blush. This is so amazing because you literally need the smallest amount. Less is more with this one for sure. I just literally do the smallest little smudge. And then I mix with this Milk Makeup in the color Work. Also, I'm like not a makeup guru at all. I don't know if you're supposed to apply all of your liquid products and then all of your like powder dry products. So was I supposed to put the blush on before I set my face? I don't really know, but this is just what I do. And then this is what we look like. Not bad. And because I just love blush, I'm now going to add a powdered blush over top. In my opinion, you never can have too much blush. So my two go-to blushes are MAC Blush in Sweet Enough, and then this Becca Blush in Camellia, I think it's called. I really like to put powdered blush over liquid blush. In my head, the powdered blush sticks to the liquid blush. I don't know if that's true, but. And now I'm going to do the Becca Highlighter in Moonstone. I do prefer liquid highlighter over powdered highlighter, but I forgot. I just put it on the high points of my cheekbones and then again on the top of my nose and I drag it up and then using my finger I'm going to take some and put it on my brow bone to accentuate this point in my face. My eyebrows are very prominent on my face and I like that so I like to draw even a bit more sparkly attention to them. I recently purchased the e.l.f. Brow Lift, and I'm going to try it for the first time today. I'm just gonna kinda take a little bit, okay. And then I'm gonna start in the center and just work it up through my brows. And over into the ends. If this works, I will be so happy because it was only $8. Okay, now let's try the other side. 
my eyebrow hairs have a curl to them so I really need something with a strong hold because if it's not if the hairs aren't like pasted down they will literally flick up and curl okay that one looks pretty good it's just this one that needs some help why is there always like a good eyebrow and a bad one okay honestly if this holds I'm very impressed but that's kind of what I do for my eyebrows do I fill them in no there's enough going on here as it is. So then if I want a little color on my eyelid, I'll just use my bronzer again and drag it across my crease. Just very faintly, very quickly, nothing crazy. I kind of like it just for like the depth that it gives my eyes. And then I go in with the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. I like it because it really elongates my eyelashes while really accentuating each individual lash instead of making clumps oh okay you know what let's finish and then we'll clean up i don't think there's anything i hate more than putting mascara on so i usually just do a pretty thin layer because i just can't be bothered see just like an eyebrow there's definitely a better eye like this is the better eye today so you never know if going over is going to make it better or just like way worse Okay, honestly, I'm over it, so let's just clean up that little speck. What if I use this? Perfect. And then, lately, I've been really into lip liner. So, I really focus on lining the middle bottom and the middle top. And I just kind of rub my lips together. And then, I'll honestly just put on some colorless lip lip chap lip gloss anything that's all fan to dry oh it smells so good and then take out these little clippies okay you guys that is going to wrap up my everyday makeup routine i really hope you liked it i'll link the products all down below don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in the next video